Hi Crafty Maven peeps, it's Tanya here and I'm up with an In Your Pocket Tuesday. I'm showing you that I'm going to be using the June hip kit. What I've done is I have taken the kit and I'm basically using it like a like a pocket life kit to document a holiday that my kids and my folks and I went on all oh, many many moons ago now you can see my kids are tiny and if you think my oldest is 19 and my youngest is 16 this was a fair time ago but I thought what because this kit is very summer themed and us here in the in the southern hemisphere are smack bang in winter I don't really have any current summer photographs to to document so I wanted to use the kit because it's lovely and those cards you can see that I'm using there those are exclusive to the kit so I figured let me rather just take some old photographs and document this holiday and that's what I've been doing you'll see here my process is it's relatively simple I don't over embellish when I pocket scrapbook but I do like to match my photos and you'll see you're about to embark on a bit of a <laughs> I don't know what you call it. A sort of, is it dominoes? If you see, I keep saying, mm, maybe I'll use this paper on there. Yeah, that, no, no, don't like it there. Let's put that there. Right, nope, nope, switch that around. We haven't finished yet, people. There's a bit more switcheroo going to, go, going to be going on there. See, see, switching, switching. Ah, am I happy? No, still not happy. Put that one back. And believe it or not, still not happy. I think, ah, there we go. Now I'm happy. Now I can glue, glue my photographs down. And yeah, that's essentially what I do with with all of my, with all of my pocket pages, is I match my photos and I try and decide where I'm going to put them, and then once I have the the layout that I'm happy with, then I embellish. Oh, and I discovered that H2O card. In I think it was the one of the ephemera packs that came in the kit, and I thought, well, that that works with this with this particular layout. Because don't forget, it's it's part of one big scrapbook uh, album. So there, you will notice that I haven't done any journaling on this particular page, but there was no need to because I have done them on previous pages. And there, I just named my youngest my Little Mermaid because, well, she looks terribly cute there biting on some sort of toy or something. Don't they always do that when they're small? Everything goes in their mouths. But it also was her absolute favourite cartoon movie growing up when she was little was Ariel, The Little Mermaid. So see, that has a little double meaning going on there. Unintentional, but um, I'm using it now. And now you'll see, oh yeah, I battled a little bit to get that photo on the frame. I, you know, Sometimes, sometimes life is hard, and you have to fight with your scrapbook products. It's really not fair. Those are wood chips from. Oh, I forget now. It's been a while since I took this this uh, kit out to to work on. So you'll forgive me if I can't remember half of what is you know half of the manufacturers of these. And I figured I would create a title page and use up some of those very themey stickers on that sticker sheet. But I didn't like the way that was looking, so I went and pulled in a bit more of that pattern paper, and now I'm sticking my sticker on. And no, silly woman, it's a my title's a swimming adventure, not adventure with swimming. And then just gluing those chipboard. That's from the poolside collection. In fact, a lot of this is from the poolside collection. That's where the H2O card comes from. The ephemera pack of the poolside collection. And please forgive that bright flash of red. That that was my head. I have bright red hair and particularly when a light shines on it it's even brighter. And I'm just putting a few little words down there on that one. And I had coloured the other wood chip. Oh sorry this did skip a little bit because my battery. No. Yes my battery ran out so I had to get another battery. So we skipped ahead a little bit. I am then framing those. That card is an exclusive card to the hip kit. Putting on some more of those poolside stickers and a couple of stars. As you can see, it's not it's it's definitely not over embellished at all. I think I think that's the idea sometimes if you want to do just a nice quick layout, 
just to to put a few things on and and not overthink it too much i i have a feeling that i overthink sometimes and one doesn't really need to you know it's not that complicated scrapbook philosophy 101 don't overthink it stay tuned for scrapbook philosophy 102 <laughs> no, I'm just talking nonsense. And I'm just doing a few finishing touches, going to colour that little wood veneer that says fun as well, just to bring in a little bit of pink there. And I think the only other thing I add... Oh, see, I'm still moving things around. I tell you, if I was any of those pieces of paper, I would be very confused right now. Well, I just wanted to add a little bit to that card because I felt without something to it, you know, I felt I hadn't really done anything with it and and it brings in the colours of the surrounding cards. And lastly, I add a freckled fawn arrow. I love those arrows, love them to pieces. And I do believe my layout is done. I will sh I'm showing you these photographs of it in its page protector. The reason why I wasn't working with a page protector is because the way I'm set up, you get terrible glare. So there you can see the finished product. And I'm so glad that you have joined us in watching. And please come again tomorrow because there will be another Crafty Maven getaway uh, video. So thanks and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.